Okay, next let, let's prove this property for product of two sequences. So you have two convergent sequences A n and B n, A n converges towards A, B n converges towards B. Then the product of these two sequences will also converge towards the product of the limits that is A B, okay, as given to you here. Okay. So what is given to us? that a n minus a mod tends towards 0, b n minus b mod tends towards 0 and what do we have to prove? If in case I have to prove a n, b n tends towards a b, it is equivalent for me to prove a n minus b, uh, a, a n, b n minus a b modulus tends towards 0, right? So, now this is a modulus, let us prove it, this is a modulus. So, this got to be greater than or equal to 0, right? So, this got to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, I can break this modulus up and add and subtract some terms out here. So, let us do that. We will have to do some sort of mod, you know, some sort of manipulations out here so that we can take some things common. So, what we can do? We can just add and subtract A and B. Okay, so add a and b and subtract a and b. So once you do that, what do you get? You get, you can combine a n terms. Okay, let me combine a n b n minus a n b so that I can take, take out common a n from here and what I can do from here, from here I can, I have a n b minus a b. Okay, so from here I can take out B common, from here I can take out A N common. So this leads me to some more manipulations. So let us take A N common and I will be left with B N minus B plus B common, I will be left with A N minus A. Okay. Now, this implies that this will be less than or equal to by triangular inequality, what will it be less than or equal to? This will be less than or equal to modulus A n multiplied with A n B n minus B plus the separate modulus B into A n minus A. Okay. And this will be this will be less than, this will be less than or equal to say some m. Now why am I saying so? Because I have a convergent sequence and we have just learned that con all convergent sequence are, sequences are bounded, right? So that means mod a n is bounded, okay? So I can take an m out here that is the upper bound of mod a n okay since mod a n is bounded so i can take the bound as m and apart from that the terms that remain with me are b n minus b plus mod b plus mod b into a n minus a mod okay okay so, what we have here now is that I know something about A n, I know something about B n and what is that something? What is given to me? Now, A n is converging towards A, B n is converging towards A which means that modulus A n minus A will tend towards 0 and uh, by convergence of B and I know that modulus of B and minus B tends towards 0. Okay, so applying that here, I know that this tends to 0, this tends to 0. That means this complete thing will tend to 0. Okay, and that implies, that implies that the bracket, that implies that the bracket or the modulus a n b n minus a b okay 
modulus a n b n minus the product of the limit a b modulus of that. Now, this lies between this is greater than or equal to 0 and it it is less than or equal to something that tends towards 0. So, by sandwich theorem by sandwich theorem again what I have I have that a n b n tends toward a b ok. So, whenever you have two convergent sequences converging to a finite limit both of them then the product of those two sequence will also converge to a finite limit which will be the product of the limit of those individual sequences. 